GHC Heavyweight Championship belt, which is presented to the challenger, Wagner. He nods and keeps his focus on the champion. Look at the ring attire of the challenger, looking absolutely resplendent. White and silver attire. Oh, amazing, yeah, the Aztec warrior, he always looks fantastic. His grandfather, Dr. Wagner, his father, Dr. Wagner Jr., known for wearing traditional white attire in big match settings here in Japan, going back decades. Ken O making his third title defense here today. His first defense was on January the 2nd at Ariake Arena versus Manabu Soya in the co-main event, which was something else. The bell rings, the main event is upon us here. Heavyweight Championship on the line. You're listening to Stu Fulton and Mark Pickering. Thank you for joining us today on board the Archon Wrestle Universe. You are going to love this main event, I promise. I've seen plenty of Wagner masks in the crowd as well, steering Sendai here. Wagner Maniacs are in the house. Yeah. Ken, Ken always loved by all, but Wagner has a solid, yeah. solid fan base from kids right through to the old school fans. Third generation is neat, Wagner. So many of his family members have carved out this legacy, the Wagner dynasty. His father, his mother, his grandfather, younger brother. And you can see he's got on his wrist tape today, Wagner Silver King, who was his late great uncle. Right. Very famous here in Japan. Yeah. Ken and Wagner face each other for the third time today in one-on-one -on -one action. There are two singles matches today. We're both in the N1 Victory Tournaments yep. of 2019 and 2022. Incidentally, 20, 2019 was the first time uh, it was called N1 Victory. Uh, the name changed that year. Keno victorious on both of those occasions. And in fact, Keno won the N1 Victory in 2019, beating Sugiura in the final. Wagner, though, is vastly improved since that time, even from 2022. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you go back in the archives, yeah. and look, it's not like he was rusty or anything. It's just that he's gone from strength to strength. Yep. I mean, first he exceeded as a tag team wrestler here in pro wrestling. You know, Two-time GHC heavyweight tag team champion. He won the Global League with, also with Rene Dupree. And ever since then, he's focused on singles division. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. His old tag team partner, uh, Rene Dupree, have beaten uh, together Ken O and Masaki Tamiya in the Global Tag League in 2020. The, that's right. The year that yep. Wagner and yep. Dupree held the GHC tag team titles uh, for the first time. They held them twice, of course. Uh, the second reign was in 2022, just a short reign. Now, in the preview matches to this, Challenge here today. January 21st, Wagner joins Stinger, Aga and Yoshinari Ogawa that day to defeat Keno, Hajime Ohara, and Super Crazy. Then on January 23rd in Osaka, Wagner and Hayata beat Keno and Yu Owada. He's using his own. They're trying to outdo yeah. each other with <laughs> their respective poses here. Copying each other's yeah, poses. Yeah. Gamesmanship afoot here in Sendai. Main event bullying. Mexico versus Japan. Keno said he wants this to be a big turning point for Noah. He feels his continued reign. Only he can elevate Noah in the pro wrestling world. And interestingly, he talked of how he felt somewhat responsible for Kazuchika Okada yep. leaving New Japan because the promotion had stagnated, he says. Yep. Uh, and Noah couldn't give New Japan the competition right. it needed. And the, you know, the top wrestler looked elsewhere. Yeah. So he feels it's his responsibility as champion to remain champion yep. and give New Japan the competition it needs here on Japan's soil in order to prevent its wrestling looting yeah. overseas like the Rainmaker has done. You have such a target on your back when you are the reigning GHE heavyweight champion, but also for Keno, it's, it's a degree of pressure that he puts on himself. The way he carries that title and also to carry pro wrestler Noah back to the summit of this industry. It's almost like he needs it. Yep. It's his calling in life. Yeah, this is validation for him. In and out of the squared circle. That's why he's so beloved here and across the world. Caught Wagner with a kick there. A bit of a flash knockout. Drags him to the outside. Gonna follow up with some stomps now. 
Thinking of bringing his beautiful brand of violence. There's the first kick of many, sends him through the gate. <laughs> the, uh, the gate and everything here today is getting tested by these yes. wrestlers. Yes. The whole venue is getting tested. I'm sure Ken will respect someone wearing a, a Wagner mask at ringside. Yeah. He's putting the third generation in the firing line. Oh, he's going to take a run from the outside here at Sun Plaza Hall in Sendai. Wagner's still draped over the guardrail. Incoming! Yeah, he's quite proficient in swearing in foreign languages now, Keno. Yeah, he is, uh, he's taking his time here today, very methodical, showing all of his strength from the get-go. He know, knows the world is watching as well, doesn't he? Everyone's staying up late in Mexico for this. Yeah, big shout-out to everybody in Mexico watching on Wrestle Universe. Great to have you on board the art here today. The monitor just went flying there, Mark. The, the whole desk came yep. slamming into my knees. <laughs> Wagner back on his feet. He responded with a brutal lariat, didn't he, after clashing into the guardrail. <laughs> Challenger rolls the champion over the apron, back into the ring. A round of applause from the audience. Good pressure from Wagner. It's underneath him. Backdrop suplex from the challenger. Come on, Come on, oh, landed for Ken. Oh, look at that hand over the face there. Come on, Lots of pressure on the champion. Ah. Ken will have to work here now, Martin. Right. Being put well in the pressure now by the luchador. Ah. This is Wagner's 60th careers singles match. Match that up to Keno's 370th singles match here today. Keno has a 69% win rate in singles matches. Phenomenal. Having said that, coming out of 2023, both champion and challenger had very similar 62 and 64% win rates. Yep, over. Oh, no. <laughs> we caught him unawares there on two. The eye poke. <laughs> totally wrapped up now is Keno. Wraps him up nice. See when you put the legs together like that, it's very difficult to escape. He's looking for that Aztec snake, which is how he submitted. It's super crazy on 13th of January. Yeah, the double wrist lock, which he calls the Aztec snake. <laughs> he's got Keno wrapped up as well. Keno doing the right thing though, keeping his palm to the mat. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger man trying to smother the champion. Edges way over to that bottom rope and safety. A massive Mexican on top of him. He gets there. beat Jake Lee to win this title for the third time in his career after the N1 victory 2023 yep. last year. There's just so few wrestlers like Ken on the face of this earth. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. Again, palm over the face, yep. keeping the pressure on. Heavy cover from the Mexican. What a representative and ambassador. Wagner is though, not just for his family, but for Mexico and for Lucha Libre at large. Yeah, it's, it's all about that luchador pride. Yeah, the that, family heritage yeah. runs deep in his DNA. That rich history, for example, his grandfather, Dr. Wagner, faced Dos Caras for UWA title in Tokyo, 1980. His father, Dr. Wagner Jr., 
wrestled in the Best of Super Juniors final in Osaka in 1998, ah! and then here today, 2024, he's going for the most coveted prize in the game. It's in his DNA for sure. Royalty. Yep. Pro wrestling royalty. Mexico to Japan and chasing after the biggest piece of gold on board the Ark here today. He's already put his name in the history books. He was the first foreign wrestler to win the GH National Championship. He's looking to do it with the heavyweight crown today. Yeah, he beat Masakatsu Funaki for it in November 2022. Held it to October 2023. Yep. Six successful title defenses. He put away Yoshiki Inamura, now known as Yoichi. Well, here we go. It was a record-breaking title reign. La Tapatia. That's right. Then he beat Manabu Soya, he beat Jack Morris, was his third challenger for the red belt. Hideki Suzuki came in for the fourth challenge. He beat Amaksa for the fifth. Saito Clown for his sixth. Back in September last year, you can see that, 24th of September. Yeah, that was personal, that was warfare, that was. Yeah, we saw a side of one that we have never seen before and may never see again. Yeah, he had to win ugly that day. Yeah. But this GHG Heavyweight Championship has proved so difficult for international wrestlers to get their hands on. Yeah, it's the cream of the crop. <laughs> Only the best are at the top. Come on. Come on. Wagner's the third luchador to challenge for the GHG yeah. Heavyweight Championship. The Ilhido Del Fantasma. <laughs> and Chessman. <laughs> Mixes up his level so well, Keno. Yep. You just never know where he's going to attack you from. You can't prepare at all. And they're all nasty. Yes. You know, yes. His PFS, the flying double knee to the back there. It just yeah, it mixes it up so well. Keno looking to give him a piece of his own medicine by the looks of it. <laughs> Softens him up. Takes the wrist control. Looks out to the crowd. This is a first for Keno. Yep. Gives everybody a nod. Yeah. Rolls the big man up. <laughs> this could, this could back backfire though at any point. Yeah. If he loses control of this. Yeah, he's, he likes taking chances. He does. But, uh, has to be very careful with them. The shoulders are down! Yeah. That could have gone either way then. Yeah. Highly precarious. Never rests on his laurels though, Keno. No. Never. Also pushing himself. Yep, still refining the L's of his game. Yeah, complacency is not in the active vocabulary of Keno. He's been talking of creating this spectacular view in Noah. And if he can retain here today, then he's one more step towards that spectacular view that he wants to show the world that pro wrestling Noah is. Oh. He's going to do it up at the top of the ramp in front of the Noah logo. This is an image that will be beamed everywhere. Yeah! And he does it. Yeah. On display. He can't be counted on the outside. There's no pinfall attempts to be made here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, look at that. He's going for the, for the face as well. Shin lock. This is all about wearing down wag. Breaking down piece by piece. And he has so many tools here in his belt. Eleven! Five! Five! Keno fully acknowledges the overseas invasion of the Noah titles right yep. now, Mark. He, yep. he knows that it, it cannot be something that, that can continue under his watch. And, you know, if Wagner were to take this one here today, the natives are going to be upset. Yeah. Ken O is going to be beside himself. 
he'll feel the weight of expectancy as well that of the 18 foreign challengers in history for the GHC Heavyweight Championship, only one has been successful. That was Eddie Edwards back in 2017, the American. I'm sure that he lost that title too, Kevin, in fact. It's just so elusive, it's just so difficult to, to beat the guys at the top. I mean, yeah. there's just a, a list of absolute ah. monsters that you have to get through to get anywhere near it. Yeah, and some of those challenges, for example, include ah. like Vader, Gladiator, Mike Awesome. Ah. Ah. For the best. Keno unleashing some kicks to the chest of Wagner here. He has him crumpled down at the side of the ring. Japanese pro rest fans, but they love an underdog, you know. Yeah. You, can, you, can hear them, you can hear them calling and cheering on Wagner. Look at the size of that open palm strike. They love a luchador as well, the Japanese fans. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's something about the purity of them. I think the Japanese really want to. The mystique of being a masked wrestler as well. The unknown. The drop total from Keno. Straight onto the back. Tight chin lock. Keno hanging on to that for dear life. He's wrenching it as hard as he can. No, no, no. Wagner, the challenger, staying calm and collected. That's exactly what he needs to do now. He can't get overawed in this occasion or in this position. The mask is tightening, isn't it, around the face of the challenger? Yeah. He gets to safety for now. From the second rope. Double knee drop. Opening up now the champion. Yeah, he, he, he likes to use his moves in increments to see how his yep. opponents react and also to break them down piece by piece. PFS on the apron. Short range professional foot stomp there from Keno. <laughs> More than happy to put his body on the line time and time again, Keno. Yeah, some of the wars we've seen him go through over the years against Goshi Ozaki, against Tatsuki Nakajima, and just get up and walk yep. away. Yep. <laughs> like, what is this man made of? He's already got two in his CV just this year. This is his third challenge, third defense in 2024. Yep, and we're only into February. <laughs> oh. oh, with a second win here, Wagner through the second row! Hope it's suicida! Almost landed on the Japanese commentary desk. <laughs> when I saw that the speed he was motoring at, I didn't know how he was going to stop then on the outside. Upping the ante. Raising the danger levels. Taking it to the champion, Wagner is empowered right now. Keno completely wiped out after that, Mark. Yeah, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Keno trying to create some distance between him and Wagner. Yeah. Both <laughs> men showing some battle damage so far here in this main event. They will give everything and the kitchen sink for this championship title belt. None more than others. Was it better? Step up, knee to the jaw, cracked him hard, follows up with a double knee. Come on, Ralph, drag him over, hooks up the leg. The challenger with the two count. Could be looking for the stoppage here, Wagner. Then he puts an exclamation mark on everything. I've seen Ken all struggle before, but right now he's looking in trouble, Mark. Yeah, he's feeling the full power now. The third generation luchador. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Down 
to the... Slams it down to Keno! Goes to the power bomb. That was a heavy power bomb. Keno face down now. Wagner struggling too. I think that power bomb took a lot out of him. Yeah. That was a huge effort. Cheers of Keno and Wagner here at Sun Plaza Hall in Sendai. The challenger first to his feet. Keno counters it. The shoulders down for two. Pops back up to his feet, misses with a kick. Wagner rolls him up. The shoulders of Keno down now. Stays on him again. Two. Wagner down. Back to Keno. Back to Wagner. Super kick. Whoa, he caught him with the second one. And then heel kick. 20 minutes into this main event, Ken O. Trying to make his third title defense a successful one here today in Sendai. What an exchange that was between champion and challenger. Who's got more left in the tank, though? That is the question. Keno has proved again and again that he can pull it out. Yeah. The bag went under the most serious, most heaviest of pressure. He's going to test the challenger with more of his kicks. Wagner with the palm strikes. That palm strike sounded as heavy as the kick mark. Yeah, and Keno is one of the most notorious strikers in the game. Absolutely lethal execution. Starting to tee off now. Whoa. He is not holding back with those whatsoever. No. Challenger is fading. Yeah, he's that one dropped to his knees. Human chests are not supposed to be the same as tie pads. Back on his feet just to take another barrage of kicks from the champion. That's a big target as well for Keno to aim at. Huge. Caught that last one. Rapid fire palm strikes now. Combinations from Keno. Misses with the second one this time. Headbutt from Wagner. That one clipped him. One kick. Caught him hard with that. Lariat drops him. Wagner goes up and down. Get over the brain buster. Go camp there from the champion. There's the belt, there's the gold. The treasure on board the Ark, the heavyweight championship title belt. In no man's land for the duration of this match. Who walks away with it? Does it stay in Japan? Is it bound for Mexico? Oh. Magic mask. Resets. Two's not going to stop him. Don't underestimate the magical power of the mask. Yeah. He's going in for a third, but Ken O follows up. Big shot to the back. Well, underneath him there, but Ken O, he is doing so well with the counters here today. German suplex. Trading Germans. Over the back. Dragon suplex from Ken O. Such quick work from the champion. He's got such a deep arsenal as well, he can just reach into his repertoire. Dragon suplex as if it's nothing. Yeah, that muscle memory, just straight under the arms there. Popped him over. He's got fighting instincts, isn't he? 
from his Nippon Kempo days. National and international champion running penalty kick there to the challenger. He's hooked up the leg. One, two. Kicks out before the three count. Wagner still alive and kicking. The key eye, the war cry. Kennel wants to finish this off. Wagner struggling, but he's back on his feet. Kicks away the leg of Ken O, who lands on his family jewels. And I think it wasn't even the padded part. This is a very mobile heavyweight, though, Wagner. Your typical luchador. Can do death-defying things for a man of his size. Things are about to get nasty here. Avalanche brain buster from the challenger. Top control. Wagner driver. Hit first on Keno, that was. Nasty landing for yeah. the champion. Doesn't elect to go for the cover though, the challenger. Yeah. 25 minutes into this main event. The Aztec warrior makes his way to the top turnbuckle. Keno, despondent, face up in the middle of the ring. Oh! Look for a PFS himself. Yep. One, two. Using Kenno's moves against him. Professional foot stomp. Back up to the top. Wagner with a moonsault. Could this be it? He's got the leg hooked up of the champion. Kenno still kicks out. Kenno's third reign is in serious jeopardy here. Will it end at 99 days? Still chance of Ken O and Wagner ringing throughout Sun Plaza Hall in Sendai here. Still anybody's game. Ken O is never on the receiving end of that professional foot stomp. He's always dishing it out. Yep. Thanks to his own medicine from the doctor himself. Yep. The prescription has been Thank written. You, Wagner at the helm. Scoops up Ken O onto one shoulder. This is with the short range lariat. Catches him with a slap. And a high kick. Ken was in two minds then, wasn't he? Kick and slap. Rolls him through, looking for the Ken O special. Yep. Ah, give him. Ah. Just needs to get some punches across the face of the challenger. Wagner showing no signs of tapping out. Gets to the rope. Yeah, too close to the ropes. Rolls him over into place. And again makes his way. To the top turn buckle, the champion Ken O from the rafters. PFS, he landed it square in the gut of the challenger. He's going tight this time, all the pressure. Still, Wagner kicks out. Great heart from the challenger. Fighting for himself, fighting for Mexico, fighting for his family today. Bumps him down again, unceremoniously. He's going to keep pushing these limits to the fullest. From the heavens, this is with the end ring. Something clutch. Wagner's going. Oh, almost. Lariat folds Keno. Scoops him up. Some adjustments in the fireman's hold. No, Wagner driver. One, two, go. Oh, Kennel still manages to kick out. Fraction away there. Oh. 
Oh, huge chance of Wagner. They want to see more fight from the Mexican. When the Wagner can't stop, back comes the Keno chance then. Yep. Dumps Keno down. Keno looking completely spent here. One, two, three, into the moonsault. Yes. The best moonsault ever. The best one you'll ever see. It's the Dicker! Sendai, are you entertained? GHC Heavyweight Champion! Who would have thought? Mark Pickering, who would have thought? A staggering outcome here in Sendai. This crowd is in disbelief. El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. The third generation luchador tested Ken All for the GHC Heavyweight Championship. But his third title defense drops it to the Mexican. Wagner victorious. History has been written. The Wagner dynasty not only lives on, it's been raised to a whole new level here in Japan. Funny, we can see the emotion behind that mask right now for this third generation superstar. Wow. I think he can barely believe it himself. First Mexican, first luchador. I think he was running on autopilot yeah. at the end there after the onslaught that he took from Ken O. The testament to his training, his fighting spirit, his Aztec warrior heart. El Hijo de Dr. Wagner Jr. released the Kraken here today and is now the holder of the GHC Heavyweight Championship belt. What a moment this is for him, for Mexico Lucha Libre. The new face of pro wrestling Noah. Incredible performance. He may have been the underdog, but any doubters... Yep. The first Mexican to capture this title, only the second foreign wrestler in 19 attempts to lift the GHG Heavyweight Championship. No mean feat. Oh. A new name in the GHC Heavyweight history books. A luchador. No time to absorb the greatest accomplishment of his career. GLG stepping out here now. Jake Lee first in there. Is it going to be him challenging? This, this has got to be a happy moment for Jake Lee, of course. Losing the belt to Ken O. Now the belt changes hands. Jake Lee, leader of Good Looking Guys, takes the mic. Congratulations. Did you know everybody that's the first Mexican GHC heavyweight champion in history? いわってるように聞こえはしているが私はチームに勧誘してきたわけではないそりゃそうだ。He would like you to accept my challenge for the belt. Wagner, 
だがなあここの舵を取るとなったら決定的に足りないものがある said, champion, それはだな However, 私からの勝利だ<笑>君の返答を待つわくなではまたリングで会おう I'm coming after that belt and I will see you next time in the ring Wagner holds aloft the gold. Jake Lee sets his crosshairs on it and the new champion. Wagner gave absolutely everything here today. The champion has the mic. And he is enjoying this moment. My Spanish is not very good, Tomo, but I think he's welcoming Todaimas. any challengers to his house Tomo to defend that belt anytime. Bring it on. And new GHC heavyweight champion, El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. Phenomenal main event here today. The underdog takes the gold, the treasure. On board the Ark from Ken O, the unthinkable has been written into the history books, Mark. Ken O dethroned in his third defense by a luchador, third generation, one of wrestling's greatest families, the Wagner dynasty, back at the top of the sport. We were not joking when we said this man has gone from strength to strength since he joined us on board the Ark. And the titles now not in the hands of Japanese, but all of them except the GHC Junior Heavyweight yeah. Tag Team Championship titles. You're here to that game from GLG. Only two men, only two natives holding GHC titles at this moment in time. First Mexican to win GHG National. First Mexican to win GHG Heavyweight. Oh, he's, he's going out to, uh, yeah. to greet one of the little fans. That's just beautiful. Two of the little fans with the masks on. Some little Wagner maniacs. Beautiful moment there. And a fine, fine champion he is already making. There's another one there. Oh, they love it. Viva Wagner. You never know, we might see one of these young yeah. uh, kids as wrestlers in the future saying they were inspired by sure. this moment here sure. today. I would like to say thank you to everybody around the world watching on Wrestle Universe. This has been a Noah crossover 2024 in Sendai. We have a new GHC heavyweight champion, El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. My name is Stu Fulton and I'm alongside Mark Pickering. Yep, we'll see you next time, 23rd of February, Crock and Hall. Look at the splendor, witness the fitness. The Aztec warrior is the new champion. Sayonara. Now, the most powerful, powerful, powerful fight, Pro Wrestling Noah. The whole of the Wrestle Universe is the most powerful fight. 最先端をひた走る迫力の映像と人間参加と呼ぶべき未曾有のドラマそして鍛え上げられた肉体と技で織りなすスターたちのきらめき今一番かっこいいプロレスを見逃すなレスラーユニバース